Borderlands 3. A long time in the making, something that I've been waiting for for a good long time. Um, but with all the games that's been coming out lately, um, like Anthem, um, not too far off from that. Well, actually a couple of years <laughs> before that, No Man's Skies. Um, games of that category have been coming out, Fallout 76. I could keep going. I, they're starting to pop into my mind now. Um, have been coming out and they have been incomplete. They've been like hyped up marketing and has been doing such a great job of selling these games. And, um, and some of the, um, development teams have been so good at, you know, you know, telling us about the games and all the little rare mechanics and all this other stuff that you can expect that'll blow your mind. And they fail to deliver. So I'm a little bit skeptical from spending on spending my money at launch, but. I might just do it. I'm like 80% of myself is saying, ah, they're going to do a great job. I mean, I've fallen for it for a couple of times, like, you know, <laughs> buying games that are like incomplete. But um, we do have a video here. Borderlands 3's new mechanics are exactly what we want. So let's check it out and I can give you my reaction to it. I haven't really seen it yet at all. Matter of fact, I have not seen it at all. Um, I don't know if I'm going to watch all 11 minutes of it. Just some of it, and then let you know my impressions, and then you can give me your impressions in the comment section below. So let's hit it. Hello. And we just got back from the Borderlands 3 gameplay reveal event. We're going to assume that you've already seen uh, the presentation they did. Maybe you've even seen some of her gameplay. So you know what's new in Borderlands 3. But we want to talk about how it actually felt to play Borderlands 3. And does it feel substantial? Because it has been quite a while since they've made new Borderlands. I would say uh, four years, I want to say, since pre-sequel, and Borderlands 2 came out in 2012, so it's been a really long time. Right, and, and pre-sequel was like built off the structure of 2, mm -hmm. which was even in turn sort of built off the structure of 1. This feels more substantially different, I feel like. the I thought the weapon handling overall felt like a little bit tighter, a mm -hmm. little bit better. They seem like they've made a lot of improvements. So let's talk about a couple of those. There's sliding and there is mantling now. Yes, and you can definitely tell when I spoke to Sage, the game director, he cited Titanfall 2 as one of the inspirations for the new mechanics, sense. and that makes a lot of sense because you don't go as fast as Titanfall 2, but the mantling and the sliding just makes the flow of combat move so much more quickly, and it feels a lot smoother and better to play this game than previous Borderlands games. I definitely had to train my brain to use it because I've actually been like replaying Borderlands like 1 and 2, <laughs> so I'm like... Right, I can slide. Right, I can mantle. I'm curious how much I'll actually end up using those, mm -hmm. specifically the slide. The mantle, I, I like because it adds more like verticality to the way they're designing these levels, mm -hmm. which I think is pretty cool. We can touch on that a little bit later, but sliding is neat. But at the same time, I still found myself just like bunkering down and shooting people. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but maybe that's just me. I would love for them to maybe tweak the sliding a little bit. Apex has spoiled me, and I want it where I can just instantly slide around, I right? Say, yeah, like, I kept trying to slide down slopes, and then eventually get to a point where I just <laughs> stop. I'm like, oh, it doesn't keep going. Uh, but yeah, but I, I do think that is nice. It makes the combat feel faster, which mm -hmm. is another thing. Like, everything feels faster paced than those mm -hmm. previous Borderlands games. I feel like enemies are, are moving around. Just like the combat just feels like it's faster overall. Mm -hmm. And I'm not entirely sure if it is actually faster or if it's kind of like you said, how the fact that the the sliding and mantling allows you to interact with the environment a little bit more. So enemies are ducking behind cover. They're climbing up on right. stuff and you can now do the same. So you're moving a lot more you are. in Borderlands 3 when you're fighting people. You're not just kind of like standing on one side of the battlefield with the enemies on the other side and just shooting at each other. Right. That was like a classic Borderlands strategy, especially in one, was like, the enemies will charge at me, so I will hold back and shoot at them. And that was sort of like the way you did combat in that yeah. game. And it's gotten like more dynamic over time, but this feels like they're really stepping it mm. up. And Like you are a vault hunter. You are hunting mm. down the enemies yeah. that you're fighting. Compared to the other games, I feel like they have improved it a lot and it feels it feels pretty good. Yeah. Malawan pushed most of the Atlas forces back to HQ, but I've got a small team working behind enemy lines. I have to make sure they haven't been overrun with all these bandits running around. Now, something that didn't feel as good as the driving portion of yes. the game. Like, they've made improvements for it. The vehicles don't flip over as often, but they're still a little too weightless, in my opinion, and it's still not the easiest to get around when you're driving. Yeah, it, 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 the handling feels a bit better for sure, but 
I didn't think. All right, before like um, <clears throat> the video keeps uh, going on and I forget my thoughts. So um, sliding is something that I'm really like, you know, I do, you know, I'm glad they actually added that feature. I mean, like almost every game now, especially first person shooters, um, has a sliding feature, especially um, when, you know, you know, shoot them up, you know, loot shooters and of that nature. Um, the list is pretty long. Mantling, that's pretty cool. The game looks smooth. I don't know about you, but like, despite the slide and everything like that, I was just looking at the weapon handling. Everything looks a little bit tighter. Um, it looks smoother. Um, the enemies, it just looks like it's nice and crisp at, at the moment. Um, I'm excited. Uh, I like the way the vehicles are looking so far. So yeah, so far, so good. So let's keep it going. I think the combat was much improved like it's still that weird thing where especially when you're playing single player the best way to use combat with the vehicles is to actually like park yourself and just shoot at them like yeah. actually trying to do that like <laughs> dynamic driving around doesn't really work it's one of those things that it's not like a deal breaker or anything i mean right. it's just sort of like okay it's a little bit better but it's not improved in enough that i I, as much as I'd want it to be. Yeah, it's, you know, it's nothing to, to write home about, but Borderlands has never really been about driving. Yeah, it's, about it's not going to really... Part, I don't think it's so. going to negatively impact my Borderlands experience. Mm -hmm. uh, and I do like some of the like the cycle, the, the cyclone thing they had. Yeah, it's so like, cool. That is pretty cool to drive around in. Um, it's like a single one-person vehicle. Mm -hmm. uh, you can't shoot for shit with it, though. No, no you cannot. <laughs> um, but it's great to just get around. It has a very tight turn, and when you're driving in the new planet that the city planet uh promethea so you got a different vehicle type here it looks pretty cool something i would probably since i'm a solo person half the time when i'm playing my games because i come home so late or something like that or we're up way too early um that would probably be my um go-to so let's skip ahead just a tad and see what they got going on up here i'm not going to just watch it all this one's skip. This is just a normal Borderlands yeah, gun. I yeah. almost don't want it because of that. I don't want that, that right? <laughs> <laughs> but I, I really like the alternate fires because I feel like it, they've used it to encourage maybe like some of the problems I had with Borderlands. So the big problem I've always had with Borderlands is the elemental stuff. I never found it. It's useful, but when you're trying to spec for it, I usually go for like just the higher damage. Right. And I, and I happen to have one that has an elemental effect. <laughs> And now, with the alternate fires, it's more useful because there are all sorts of ways alternate fire can work. One of them is that the gun functions the same, but you actually switch which elemental type you're using. Mm -hmm. And so I, when I had a gun like that, I actually found myself being more strategic and like using those elements like, mm -hmm. oh, I can switch to the shock one and use it on that guy's shield, and then I can switch to a different one. So Ooh. that actually like felt better. Yeah. It essentially doubles your arsenal because you've got to have four guns that right. have alternate firing rates in this essentially then have eight. And I think it's going to really help in the beginning when you probably can only have one gun. Finding one that has an alt right. fire rate will essentially allow you to start with two. So like stuff like that makes the guns feel more viable. I was mixed on some of the guns. I, I ended up like there are some that I really liked and some I didn't like. Mm -hmm. I kept finding a lot of like shotguns you had to charge and maybe that's just my personal preference mm -hmm. but I don't like like it takes like three seconds to charge the shot and then you shoot it and then the amount of damage it did was like not Mm -hmm. I found one that was really good, but like I had found like six that were just garbage. All right, so <clears throat> may I say the game, uh, the weapons look awesome. Now that's what we, that's what I'm talking about. That was something like you know I was hoping that Anthem would have like um you know adopted. Um, eh, not a first person Anthem is not, but like you know if you can see the guns, they're looking great, and I like that um, alternate you know weapons. Uh, talk because i can't really say exactly i don't know what's on my mind but i do get it with the elemental stuff um being able to switch out um your weapons um smooth like that sounds great so let's get a little bit closer to the end and i will wrap this up here let's see what their final uh thoughts like are you're improving like mobility and just like the feel of combat feels like tighter and better you're making uh the environments like more varied and you're improving on the skill trees. You know, it's hard to say whether if you didn't like Borderlands before, if you're going to, this is going to change it for you. I don't think it will. I don't think it I will. I think this is just more 
Borderlands. It's more Borderlands, <laughs> but I think the changes they are making to Borderlands is really smart, and it yes. feels good, which is sort of, back when I saw the original trailer, I was worried that it's, it just looks more Borderlands, mm -hmm. that it wasn't going to be that much different, but it, I, I think the changes they're making are really smart, mm -hmm. and having had a chance to actually play it, it feels good. Yeah, I will freely admit I was wrong, because I was also yes. on that video, and I said, looks like it's pretty much the same, and I don't know how I feel about that, and... Even though there are parts of it that are very similar, they have changed enough that I am 100% back on yes. board. Absolutely. <laughs> Freely to admit we were wrong about that. <laughs> so thank you for watching uh, our hands-on impressions of Borderlands. If you want... Good enough. <clears throat> so I'm on board. <laughs> um, basically skimming through the video. Watching a good... I guess we watched like a five portion of it or so. Um, maybe a touch more, maybe a touch less. Not too sure. But I do believe that I am kind of still on board i'm going to watch a little bit more coverage um i don't know if i'm going to grab it at launch but i'm pretty sure that the ratings are going to be high i'm gonna check out all my reviews from all my little favorite <laughs> youtube reviewers um and see what they say about it before i make that purchase but i do think this is actually going to be a nice tight game that we can play for a long time to come so the new uh excuse me the new mechanics <laughs> are plentiful and yeah i'm excited all right so i'm just gonna leave it there um let me know what you think in the comment section below uh, let me know what was your favorite i mean i'm sure you've seen other videos on uh borderlands 3 let me know anything that was your favorite highlight of it or something that you anticipate you can't wait to um you know, get into it once the game launch. And will you actually buy it at launch? And on that note, please like, of course, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.